It's time to review Technic in solo mode and do the Fortnite loot chest. Let's do this. Hey guys, me host Superstar. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got! I go to the Fortnite figure to review. This is Technic, and or Technique. I think that's meant to be pronounced. Or Technic, can't really say. And this is the solo mode figure, uh, one of the single packed figures. Hashtag wall up IRL. And I've also got. Uh, one of the first loot crate boxes. These contain guns, building materials, and other things. So, guys, we have the figure, first of all. Uh, the best thing about the loot crate, by the way, is that you already know what's in them when you buy them. So that's really cool. It actually tells you on the box which one it is. There's about four or five different ones to collect. They are $8.99 each, though. The figures are $11.99 as well. A little bit pricey, but they're nice. There's a bunch of others to collect and review as well. I'm still thinking about getting Raptor, Carbine, and probably Drift. Those three are kind of the ones that I want next. But these are toys by Jazzwares, guys, um, you know, as a part of Epic Games' Fortnite phenomenon, we'll call it, because it is at this point a phenomenon, isn't it? It's taken over the world by storm, and it was only a matter of time until they made the figures. So let's get her out of the packaging. Okay, so every figure does come with an extra little build piece. You can use these as stands for the figures. They have a little nub on them to stand the figures on. So that's pretty cool. But they are compatible with all of the building sets that you buy. That's another great part about this that I like. That's why I've gone to collect this series, the 3-inch um, series. Because a lot of people are collecting the McFarlane's versions. which, But they're very limited articulation-wise, in my opinion. They're very limiting. Oh, that's meant to be a hood jacket. Ah, okay. How does that stay on, though? Does it just sit? Interesting. So she does come with this extra bit as well to make it look like a hood is up on the hoodie, which is removable as well, which is nice. So if you want that down, that's fine. She also has her little mask here, but I don't think you can get it to actually come. I think it is static around the middle. I would. It would have been nice if you could, if it was like a soft rubber compound. So we could pull it up over a face. So that she had the gas mask on if you wanted it. But you can't really. It just sits around her neck. I'm liking the face sculpt though. The figure looks beautiful. I love how she looks. They've actually done a very nice job at bringing that skin to life, to be honest. I like the little green hat as well. Um, doesn't say anything on the hat. The articulation is going to be the same as what it is on all the other figures, but we will just run through it again in case you haven't seen the previous reviews that I've done. So the arms do lift out at the sides, do rotate at the top hinge there. They do also have elbow joints, uh, which can be rotated as well. Hands as well are on rocker and ball joints. So they're fully articulated. Oh my god, this one's very stiff. It's a good thing. It's a good thing for posing, to be honest. You, want them, you don't want them to be, you know, flapping around. You can rotate her at the top part as well, she has a diaphragm hinge there to crank forward and backwards and rounded. Uh, she also has a brake at the waist as well. Legs do lift out pretty far, as well as forwards with a double hinge knee on this one, and a top thigh brake. Also a rotation at the foot as well with a rocket and pivot. The figure articulation on this, the legs of this one is a lot easier to move. As you've seen on some of my other videos, some of the figures are pretty hard to rotate and move. Very stiff joints. But again, that's what you want. You don't want figures that are too loose. Because uh, it just it makes them harder to articulate. And again, you can just clip the little hood on if you so choose. It is a little bit flimsy in my opinion. That's just going to come off with if you are playing with them. But if you're just posing them like I would be, then it does just sit nicely on there. You might want to like pose her up and then put that on last, to be honest. So just to show you guys, these are the... Um, the the building materials, but you can also use them as bases for the figures because they are hard to stand, but they do stand pretty well once you put the nub inside. Also, it would make them really cool so you can hang them upside down and stuff as well when you build something. That would be pretty cool to see. Anti-gravity style. 
it's Fortnite, anything can happen. <laughs> and as well, she does come with her um, her harvesting tool, which on this one is a um, like a paint can, like a paint sprayer, like a paint roller almost. Her hands as well are pretty stiff, but they do wrap around that pretty easily. It has got a nice paint decal on it as well. The paint, the paint on the figure as well is pretty good. There's no bleeding issues whatsoever on this figure. It is immaculate. Love it. Nice figure. Really think they've done well with that one. So let's just place her down here for now while we take a look at the loot box. So these little loot crates, they're solid plastic boxes, so you can use these in your figures and you play, you know. These would also, because it's so big, it would scale well with a six inch figure as well as like a, as you use it as a chest if you've got any pirate figures or you want to have a bit of fun. I could imagine filling this full of like little gold coins and then having Deadpool like laying in it. <laughs> That'd be really funny. But yeah, I'm going to use this again. Especially if I go to the beach, I'm going to take this with me. Along with some figures and bury it and stuff like that. It'd be funny. But if we open it up guys, you can see that there is a sort of bunch of loot inside. So they have given us two more wood pieces to help build. If you didn't see my building video the other day, then these just slot together like that very easily. Just slide them into connecting spots and then to get them back out, just twist. So they do work very easily once you get used to using them. Everything you buy in this series does come with this little manual of sorts which gives you um, a list of all the accessories and skins that are currently available. We have nearly all of these now. So we've got Bright Bomber, we've got Jonesy, we've got Cuddle Team Leader, I've got Ragnarok, I've got Raven, I've got Rex, Rust Lord and Technic. So I'm missing Bandoiler, Carbide, Drift and Omega. Those are the only ones I'm missing. And Raptor. Uh, it says, and it does actually say more heroes are dropping soon, so this is only wave 1 guys, so I'm not sure if I'm going to collect any more from wave 1, I might just wait for wave 2 at this point. And again it gives you a list of all the guns, all the harvesting tools, and all the backpacks, and there's only one glider available right now, which comes with Omega, but more of them are coming soon. And we do have a little baggie here which has got some more stuff in. So this bag, this comes with an uplink, heavy shotgun, minigun, burst assault rifle, two building materials and a collector's guide. So I've already showed you the, collect the collector's guide and the building materials. Nice. So this is going to be the burst assault rifle. I'm guessing this is going to be the heavy shotgun. And then of course you've got the minigun. What does that say on there? It says... Does that say Husca la Vista? Or something. Oh, hasta la Vista! Super sorrow. Seriously. <laughs> and then the uplink as well, which is one of the backpacks. That looks like it belongs on like Raptor or something. That's still pretty cool. So, nice set overall. I will go to the desk cam though, to give you guys an up close personal look at everything we've gotten today. Um, as well as the new figure and give her an up close look. So, let's go back to the desk cam. George has entered the game. Who? <laughs> okay guys, here we are out of the packaging. So let's go ahead and look up at Technic here. Or technique. I'm not quite. Still not quite sure how to pronounce that. Oh my god, that that flare from there back there. Oh my god, can we cover that up? Not really. There we go. A little bit more hidden. So here is technique for the first time out of the packaging with that spray can, the harvesting tool, looking pretty cool. <clears throat> Again, I love how they've made the figure. My only gripes um, about this figure, and it is just very me picking at this point. I wish the um, the mouthpiece could have fitted around her actual mouth rather than just hang around her neck. And I wish there was a better way of clipping this to the actual figure because it does just fall off after a little while. When it starts wearing as well, it'll just fall off all the time. Uh, so yeah, that's my only gripe about the figure though. But the rest of it is immaculately done. I love the fact that she's got splotches of paint on her. 
um, all over like to create different artwork styles and things. I like that. It's like very street artish. Um, she's got like tattoos and things on her, which is nice detailing. Um, the paintwork is consistent throughout, and they've, they have gone ahead and made a really nice face sculpt for this figure. So, really recommend this figure. I think Technic is a great figure. Again, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing her name right. Technic, Technique, meh. Either way, very good figure. Um, Jazzwares have really br brought this one to life, so happy about that one. But let's go ahead over here and look at the minigun. So I've attached the minigun here uh, to the Bright, uh, Bright Bomber. Uh, she looks pretty good with it, actually. I really like how it looks in the figure's hands. So, yeah, really nice gun. And if we move down here, we have got um, him holding the uh, shotgun up in the air like that. And I've given him dual weapons, so he's holding the burst assault rifle as well. And of course, we have the uplink down here as well. Again, I think this belongs to like Rap like Rap like Raptor or someone. It would look nice on him though as well. And there's a little hood piece. And of course, then we've got the little loot crates. These are really nice, it's just a shame they cost $8.99 each, but they are good. The accessories and the quality of the weapons and stuff are pretty good. So I probably will pick up a couple more, especially if they keep releasing the figures. Um, I'm going to need more accessories as we go on, so yeah, really good figures. What are your thoughts though, guys? Let us know your thoughts on this series in the comments down below. Have you been enjoying these reviews? I'd love to hear back from you. This is the last one for now. Um, I haven't got any more Fortnite stuff to review right now. So this is going to be it for Fortnite for just a little while until I pick up some new stuff, which inevitably will be in probably in a couple of days, knowing me. I, I really, Once I start collect, collecting, I can't stop. But yeah. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments down below, and we'll go back to the main cam to finish off this video. Alright guys, keep your eyes peeled. Velociraptors have entered the game. Velociraptors? <laughs> what should we do? Shooter! So guys, have you been collecting this Fortnite series? Let us know in the comments down below which ones you've been collecting. And just thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, smash that subscribe button and hit that thumbs up. It would really support us, really help us out, and help us keep making awesome videos. But guys, I want to say thank you very much for watching. And until next time, may the force be with you.